My name is uh, John Bach. I'm a specialized solution architect uh, with AWS and my, uh, with a specialty in broadcast. And I'm here to talk to you about some exciting uh, technology we are showing here at NAB. We, uh, and this is basically based on uh, a POC we've done for a major service provider. So, uh, so, so I'm going to talk more about this. Uh, the whole thing is built around sort of the concept for a next generation distribution model. And we're trying to take advantage of the fact that a lot of content providers already today is originating, meaning they have established play out in, the, in AWS to distribute linear content out of AWS. Uh, many cases, they just send this back to the ground uh, and send this out through traditional mechanisms. But there's actually an option to share all this content within the cloud straight with service providers without having to go back to the ground. And this is what we're taking advantage of here. And this was based on a request from a big service provider in the U.S. where we, where we basically contacted a few content providers and says, why don't we make like a POC where we are using your content in the cloud to give it directly to the service providers the service providers then prepare it for their use in the cloud and then send it to the ground, minimizing the need to do workflows on the ground, uh, providing cost efficiency and more reliable transport. In this case here, we are, con we are consolidating all the content in US West 2, and we created a StatMux system with 14 channels and 39 megabits per second for this application. Uh, so let me try to show you the diagram here. Uh, it starts here on the East Coast where most of the content providers are operating. Uh, it doesn't have to be there. It could be on the West Coast. It could, in fact, be in Europe if, if that's what we want. But in this case here, we have Discovery, Showtime, and uh, PBS is participating in this POC. And we're using their, their, their playout system and using Media Connect with uh, an entitlement system that allow them to hand off the content to another account within AWS. Uh, in which case we can take the content from there, run it across the AWS backbone and collect this in uh, US uh, West 2, uh, where again we use Media Connect to receive the content and then we feed that into Media Live, which is our cloud-based encoder. For this use case here, we're using a uh, feature with Media Live that allows you to do uh, a closed loop statistical multiplexing system creating these 14 channels into a multiplex at 39 megabits per second, which we are feeding back to the ground using Media Connect and a Direct Connect, uh, like enabling us to send this reliably uh, to the ground. On the ground, uh, we are monitoring this uh, transport, and you can, of course, from there, you can send it into a, a modelator or process what you want, or send it on a satellite, whatever you know is the right choice for you. Um, so this here is a transport stream analyzer that sits uh, on the ground where, like on the output of the direct connects, where we are monitoring the transport stream as it comes through. So this here shows all these 14 channels that's running live. So this is, you know, the discovery channels, uh, home garden, discovery, food channel, whatever, plus some PBS channels and some showtime channels, uh, which are running live, and uh, we are monitoring it here. Uh, the transport stream analyzer is just keeping track of this so you can see everything runs well. And we have the option here to sort of show you uh, how the bit weights for all the different channels is changing. So, so this here, I like this view. This here shows all the different programs and you can see how the bit weights for all the different programs is changing over time, uh, reflecting, say, the quality or the complexity of these channels. And you can see that all this sort of works pretty well. And we are sort of maintaining like uh, a less than 1% null package in this transport stream for, for the best possible efficiency. What not only can we do all this multiplexing on the in the cloud, we can also actually combine this workflow with say processing on the ground. So in this case here, we uh, we have a case where we have some ultra HD encoders or channels that are generated on the ground, and they want to create a StatMux system with those as well and combine that with content that originates in the cloud. So what we're doing here is that we are we are creating uh, a 38 megabits. A StatMux system with three high definition channels and two HD channels and, and mixing all that together on the ground on the next uh, flow diagram here. So, so the whole acquisition piece here is the same, but on the ground we have now a StatMux system running on the ground. We're actually collecting some of the channels from the cloud. Uh, sending them down in their mezzanine level uh, to the ground, and we are feeding that into the encoder as well, and stat boxing everything together, and feeding that into the transport stream monitor as well, a 
of course, I think it goes into the model later or you know, whatever you need to do of processing on the ground to send it out. Uh, so basically it just shows how you can combine cloud and, and ground-based workflows, and basically yeah, helping you optimize your distribution needs. So basically this is what we've been showing at NAB this year, uh, not only, but this is, we've gotten very good feedback from this. If you wanna hear more about this, uh, please uh, just uh, check out this link. Uh, you'll see at the end of this uh, presentation here, and uh, you can read more about these services we use for this. Thanks very much.